Gallup, you get so caught up. Almost everything you see going on in the news, we're a part of. We're in it somehow to a little or big degree. Jim Clifton and Jane Miller are enthusiastic about the now and the future. The 2,000 people that Gallup employs and the impact they're having around the world. We have a true mission to help workplaces be better and to help people find um, analytics on everything that's important to humankind. Siblings first, they have vaulted Gallup into the upper echelon, a world-renowned leader in research, analytics, and advice. Jim as CEO, he's based in Washington, D.C., and Jane as Chief Operating Officer. She heads global operations from the Omaha office. I'll never forget when I was a little kid, and um, I was real little, and, and my dad took me to my grandma's house, and I remember he was in a hurry to get out of there, and she said, you've got to get back to work. You've got 50 mouths to feed and it was ingrained in my brain. And so to this day, when I think about 2,000 mouths to feed. Jane and Jim grew up in Lincoln with sisters and PhDs Mary and Connie, both of whom are involved in the company and family foundation. Their dad, the late Don Clifton, was a longtime professor at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, founder of Selection Research and developer of the now-revered Clifton Strengths Finder. The job of raising the kids, that fell to their mother, Shirley. We always had jobs that we were working at at um, Selection Research, at SRI. So dad would always give us odd jobs to do that um, whether we were seven years old or 15 years old, we were working. When Jane says that, that we were always working, it was 100% mom saying, you really need to get a job. After graduating from UNL, Jane's first job involved optimizing SRI's call centers. And I remember at the time thinking I wasn't that excited and, his exact, and my dad actually said to me, um, you know what, if you turn it around and you cut the costs by 25%, I'll go help you start your own business later in um, clothing. I jumped into it and I loved it and I never looked back. Jim, who also grew up in the business, led SRI's pivotal acquisition of the Gallup organization and became CEO in 1988. It was a very competitive acquisition. The New York Times, the Los Angeles Times, the Wall Street Journal, everybody came to Princeton to buy that thing after Dr. Gallup died. The boys took a special liking to us because we understood Dr. Gallup's mission better than anybody else. It was the biggest game changer. I mean, it's huge for us. Every once in a while, you have to bet everything or you won't, you won't keep developing. That's when, things, that's when things stop. I mean, to say the least, we bet everything. Um, the, the head of our, of a famous, I won't say the name, but of a uh, auditing firm told us if we buy Gallup, you will go broke. Since the acquisition, Gallup has achieved a 15-fold increase in billing volume and expanded to a worldwide organization with 30 offices in 20 countries and regions. When I first started, it was a $2 million company. I think when we acquired Gallup, it was $13 million. But it's not just about the revenue growth. Um, it's about all the cities that we grew into and were able to hire associates in. So whether we were hiring people in Mandarin Chinese or whether we were hiring people in German, um, you know, we were finding ways to um, help those people have good jobs and help those people continue the mission. And that's been extremely rewarding. Marquee innovations include the Gallup Path, which helps cultivate a high-performing best practice workplace. I always say it's not good enough to be a great workplace anymore. You have to be extraordinary to compete and to get the best talent, and that's what we're there for. And the Gallup World Poll, designed to give the world's seven billion citizens a voice in key global issues. If you say, what are the citizens thinking in Venezuela? What are the, what are the Russians thinking right now? There's nobody in the world that knows better than we do. We're the best in the world at citizens. Big believers in the importance of strong relationships, Jim and Jane say there are enormous benefits to being sibling executives. It works really well, maybe unusually well, but you have so much trust that you don't have to worry about warming up. I don't, you don't have to worry about any politics, that kind of thing. But it has an outcome that really works. It creates speed. That was evident in 2001 with a swift decision to move the company headquarters from Lincoln to a more expansive campus on the Omaha Riverfront. That it is um, a community that really truly cares about business. 600 people work in Omaha today. Another 500 work at three Nebraska-based call centers. They want to be a part of figuring something out that, honest to God, changes the world a little bit. We're pretty darn proud of our culture, um, and it's a high-performing culture. It's a highly engaged culture, um, and it's 
known that way um, across the world. Not only are they invested in the business and their employees, Jim and Jane are invested in their communities. Jane is a trustee of the Peter Kiewit Foundation and serves on the board of Creighton University and the Omaha Zoological Society. Passionate about education, Jim also serves on several boards and is chairman of the Thurgood Marshall College Fund. He and his wife Susan have three children, including a son who works for Gallup, and three grandchildren. Jane and husband Ed have a recently married daughter, so they have gained a son-in-law too. We are pretty lucky. We got ourselves two really good spouses in terms of being patient and in terms of allowing us to work around the clock. There'd be a lot of spouses that probably wouldn't put up with that. As Jim and Jane look to the future of Gallup, the excitement is palpable. And I think the thing I'm most excited about is that um, we continue to evolve and remake ourselves. And we've expanded our markets. Um, our technology is better than it's ever been. So we continue to expand everything we do so that um, it really is helping organizations think about strengths and engagement and creating incredible workplaces. Key areas of future focus include the Gallup Analytics Division and expanding on the legacy of their father's Strengths Finder. His uh, Strengths Finder has exploded <laughs> around the world. I think this is going to be a really fun thing for us to, to guide and see where, it, see where it goes from here. But we got a real tiger by the tail. In 2015, the Clifton Family Foundation and Gallup cemented the Don Clifton legacy by donating $30 million to UNL to establish the Don Clifton Strengths Institute. It's great that we have something where he can live on there. He's such a perfect example of what America needs. The same can be said of his children and their still unfolding legacy of impact. It's in your blood, it's in your heart, it's um it's your mission, it's your passion, it's your purpose. For this, we welcome Jim Clifton and Jane Miller to the Omaha Business Hall of Fame.